welcome back to Stag on the Line. Today we're here in southwestern Manitoba and we got we got hope for big fish on the line. She's just enjoying life. Yeah. And today today we're supposed to go to Bower Lake, but uh, we're meeting up with Mr. Outdoorsman Al. So we took a little detour and road conditions weren't cooperating with us. And so now, Al has us going on some back roads here. Oh my goodness, you can barely see. So I have no idea where I'm going now. But we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys on the ice. There you have it. There's Al on the line. Look at that, fresh haircut. Handsome devil. I've never ever caught a crappie in my life, so hopefully today's the day. <laughs> doing some holes around here and this guy that's open water around there Oh, you're just gonna pretend to fish. <laughs> I'm trying to tie this oh. on for you. <laughs> Hope's going with the uh, pink dinner bell here. Did you just get your nails done? Last week. Nice kiss. They're, pretty, uh, they're purple sparkles, so they kind of match. Bag of donuts, Tim Hortons. No. <laughs> <laughs> your eyes lit up. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> Get him out. Al says there's fish in this lake. I told him no. So we're waiting to catch one. Dan knows that I'm a compulsive liar. <laughs> You're lying. You're lying. He's not. There's no fish in this lake. Nope. No. No! There's fish in this lake! <laughs> Look at that! Get it over here! I've never seen that cool. before. Cool! Oh think my goodness, Al! Good on ya! That's awesome. You thought I was lying. <laughs> Alright, just a little baby black crappie here. So yeah, there are fish in this lake. They get a little bit bigger than that, yeah. So would you say that's like average or like... This will be your average, but average? Like, my buddy was here yesterday, two days ago. Ah, uh, should have... See? Should have been here a couple days ago. That's what, that's what the guides, my buddy Nathan always tells me. The guide always tells you the fishing's bad so that if you catch anything, you're all proud of yourself. 
And now, did you pull away fairly fast from that, or that one? No, I did didn't. you just I hold it in its face? And then I just paused it and he ate it. Really, eh? Yeah. Okay, because I'm kind of pulling away from it. And like they'll eat upwards too, right? So like, typically like with a perch, right? You'll feel like. Ch -ch -ch. Yeah. But with this, it's like they're eating upwards, so it's almost like your weight just goes, just comes off. Yeah, it's like you really? have no weight on the end of your rod anymore. Okay. Right? So that's why I like those spring bobbers, because yeah. it's like if all of a sudden your spring bobber unloads, then it's like okay, there's a fish biting now. Because it's like you don't want to set your hook too hard either, because yeah, okay. their lips are really like paper, right? So it's like you'll just tear through their mouth. It's like just a really subtle lift is enough to do it. Okay. And that's a uh, crappy fishing tip of the day <laughs> with your outdoorsman Al here. Hope for big fish, what do you have to say? I think this is also exciting. It's a lot of good What's fun. your advice for the viewers right now for fishing? Just relax, hang out. Hang out. Enjoy with a couple buddies. Yeah, the fish pick up on the vibe, so if it's not a good vibe in the shack. Al gets it. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. Well, that's, a good, that's a good analogy. <laughs> <laughs> Al gets it. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm not, I'm not picking up on the vibe or something? <laughs> Chill out, man! <laughs> uh. There's somebody walking here? Hey, oh my god! Hey, Nick. What's going on, you guys? How's it going? Come in, come in. I was like, I thought I heard somebody walking here. Did they get the shack out? Yeah, we just finished, yeah. Oh nice. my god. He was stuck everywhere, so we did the food truck and... And he got it out? Yeah. Oh my god. Me and Al came around the corner, we were like, what <laughs> is this? Well, I was out here Thursday, and uh, whatever, sitting right beside them. And he came out here, we drilled holes right by his shack, his eight inches of ice. Plenty, really, but mm. I don't know what the hell. Could have got undermined maybe too, eh, with the, like, hot weather we had. Yeah, yeah. Scary. How's it going over here? One fish. One, one fish, fish, but what that's what we're here for. <laughs> You're here for one? Just, uh, one. Is it crappy or crappy? Either or. Depends on what you want to... Are you if you're having fish? a good day, it's crappie. If you're having a bad day, it's crappie. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep going. Okay, see you next time. Okay, Have a good one. Thanks yeah. for stopping in. Good luck. Thanks, man. Sorry for scaring you. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Get your deucer out of there. I'm just too dumb. Ah! It's a little archy. It's a little archy. <laughs> look at him. There's another one down there. I got a good little bit tie on. I'm here, no line in the water, and Al is putting on an absolute clinic. Two fish clinic. Says to me, I'll guide you. Put you on the fish, but I'll catch them, he says. <laughs> You gotta pay extra if you actually want to catch them. <laughs> There's a little largemouth bass, maybe, I don't know, seven inches? Oh, that's a solid nine. Ooh. First large of the season, it's a smirch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who's gonna catch the next fish? Next fish wins. Next fish wins. It's only two right now. <laughs> oh, go, 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 go! That looks like a good one. It's probably Daniel's airplane. I... <laughs> <laughs> <Nice. laughs> I did it. Oh my, I, like, I was marking one. I didn't even know you had one on. Oh, while scrolling Twitter. So good. Hey, next fish wins, Daniel, you said to us. Me! <laughs> I win. <laughs> Bye. Wow. So Daniel, it's just you now. I actually was shocked that there was even one on there. You're used to catching way bigger fish. <laughs> yeah. I honestly even like fishing. I was I don't know how. I think it was because you said something. <laughs> Somebody did. I was like, oh. His one finger. Yes, yes, yes. Walleye! Oh awesome! Walleye! Wow, <laughs> Just 
a little tiny walleye. This is a cookie cutter for this lake. So they don't get much bigger than this here. The lake's full. Lots of uh, life going on in here. So we'll send them back home. Cool. Oh, here's one. Here's Get one. Dan. Yep. Yes. My there first crappie. And there's another one down there still. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Just as I was talking. Yeah, well done. No, don't stand up and throw your phone down the hole. Yay. Good job. Way to go. Look at this. Absolute monsters here. Thanks to Outdoorsman Al. Aww. We're hammering them. My first ever crappie. Should I eat it? That's a good omen if you eat it. I heard you have to eat it. It's good luck it. to eat your first fish on yeah. the day. First fish never goes back. Man, that came in, down, that came in, and like, like that was like a walleye. It like chased he, Yeah, he chased like off, feet. and then there was two of them with them. Describe the bite. The bite was, I'd say, more comparable to a perch that doesn't pull after they inhale it. Like that. Okay. Yeah. anything to say it was really fun I'm excited to go back it was really fun now let's go get a warm cup of coffee and a peppermint hot chocolate so thanks for watching if you like the video give her a like and we'll see you guys in the next one